new videos every day. Life, wisdom. Hi, this is Donnie and today I'm gonna go through a warm-up stretch video with you and you can use this either before or after your workout to cool down and kind of release tension in your muscles or just walk through this video a few times a week with me and you can increase your flexibility. And today I have Karina here with me and she's gonna do the beginner modifications of the advanced moves that I'm gonna do with you. So I'm gonna start out by stretching the head and neck muscles. So just go forward and back like this, just forward then back, then a few more times. Forward and back. And one more time. Forward and back. Then we're go, gonna go left to right. So left to right, and you should feel it all along the side of your neck right here. Go left to right, and two more times. Left to right, and last time left to right. Okay, now I'm gonna go and go ahead and warm up her shoulders. So just go ahead and roll backwards, just like this, just to loosen them up. Just a few more times, just to release all the tension in your shoulders. And then go ahead and roll forward now. So just roll forward like this. And then in this next stretch, just go ahead and take your hands and put them on your knee and put all the tent or all the weight in your knee into your hands so you're kind of getting a stretch right in this area and just push into your knee. And it should feel like a pretty deep stretch. Just go ahead and hold that for a few more seconds. And then release. We're gonna do the other side. And if you're getting too much stretch, just make sure not to put all your weight into your hands. And then go ahead and release. Now we're gonna do some side to side rib isolations like this. So side, 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 just back and forth. Just isolating those ribs and kind of getting a stretch all along your side a little bit. And then we're gonna do some back and forth, front and back rib isolations like this. So front and back and front, contract, just front, contract front, contract, then go side to side. So that should just get your blood flowing. And now we're gonna stretch all the way to the left, and Karina's gonna show the beginner's modification of this, so just go ahead and put your hand right above your knee, and for a deeper stretch, just follow along with me and put your hand like this, and then go into a flat back, and then all the way down to the ground, and take a few bends right there. So bend and stretch and bend and stretch and go to the center. And then take a few plies there as well. So bend and stretch, bend and stretch and go over to the other side. Then take a flat back right there and go again another time. And then take that deep stretch over as far as you can. And then into a flat back. And then down to your feet. And if that's too hard to touch your feet, it's okay to go further up your leg. Then take a few plies again. Bend and stretch. Bend and stretch. And back to the center. Bend and stretch bend and stretch and over to the other side and then back up and back to the center and then we're going to do the other direction so just go this way and go into a flat back and then down all the way to the ground or as far as you can go and go ahead and bend that left knee bend and stretch bend and stretch back to the center Take two more bends and bend and stretch into the other side and then back up. We're going to take one more time and go all the way down. Two more bends. 
Back to the center. Two more. And we're coming back up. And the last stretch we're gonna do, we're gonna take our hands all the way down to our toes, or as far as you can go. Then wrap them around your ankles. And then go ahead and kind of arch like this and put all and push the back of your calves into your hands. So you're getting kind of a stretch all along your shoulders and into your spine. And if you're doing it right, this will be a pretty deep stretch. So just go ahead and push up like that. And just hold it for a few seconds. And then release and kind of shake it out and shake it all the way up. And we're done. Thank you for watching my video and if you enjoyed this be sure to stay tuned for part two where we work on the lower body and make sure to favorite it.